In this video, we'll convert grams of iron to moles, and then we'll take the moles and we'll convert moles of iron to atoms. So we start out with 73.56 grams of iron, and I just made this number up for the video. So we have 73.56 grams, and we want to change the grams of iron to moles. So this mole map here is helpful. We have grams and we want to go to moles. We want to go to moles here. We're going to divide. We're going to divide by the molar mass. In this case, since we have iron, it will be the atomic mass. We go to the periodic table, iron, 55.85. And the units, grams per mole. So we're dividing, and when we do that, the grams, they cancel out. We end up with 1.32 moles of iron. So we have our moles now. Now to convert moles to particles, or atoms, molecules, ions, we're going to multiply by Avogadro's number. So we have 1.32 moles of iron. We're going to multiply that by Avogadro's number, and that's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. We're talking about atoms in one mole. When we do the math, we multiply the top, and then when we divide by the bottom, we cancel out moles. So we're going to be left with atoms. That gives us 7.95 times 10 to the 23rd iron atoms. So to recap, when we're going from grams to moles, we can divide by the molar mass or the atomic mass. When we're going from moles to particles, we multiply by Avogadro's number. This is Dr. B converting grams of iron to moles and then converting moles of iron to atoms. Thanks for watching.